Hello, I'm David from Winning Solutions. I hope you're having a great day and thank you for viewing our web page and templates. At Winning Solutions, we have a huge array of database templates to choose from for almost any business need you have. And the, all our databases can and are meant to be customized down to the finest detail to meet your company's specific needs. Shrink-wrapped software generally doesn't allow that. You have to use it as is with no customizations. With Winning Solutions, the licensing is very generous. The app can be used by as many people on as many computers as you want, and applications can be customized to your heart's content down to the finest detail by you or anyone else with a knowledge of Microsoft Access. We hope this video will be all the help you need. Are you trying to create an Access database but find that it's too much work? Or you could be doing something more productive with your time. WSI can do all the hard work for you. Just contact us via the information below this video. We will work with you to determine how much time and money will be needed to build your new database. If you'd prefer to have your new database built with .NET, Microsoft SQL Server so it can run on your Windows desktop or anywhere in a web browser, we could do that too. So let's take a look at the Employee Shift Scheduling Database template. Again, uh, this is a template database, although there's a lot of features in here. We can always add, add or customize anything in the paid version. So again, this is for keeping track of employees and schedules and in any type of organization, uh, always very important. Um, I'm going to start out in maintenance and lookup. This is very common to a lot of our templates. We have departments, we have some sample employees set in here. Uh, we have some locations and work types. Of course, you can add to these. Uh, in the paid version, of course, you can add lists. That's one of the customizations that's possible. So I'm just going to leave these all as is. And uh, we'll go ahead and close. We're going to go to calendar setup. And we just need to be aware of something here in calendar setup. Um, you know, this is where you set up the basic features, you know, when's the first day of the week, print type, you know, is it a portrait or landscape, that type of thing. Uh, the day of the week start time. Let's actually set that at 9 o'clock a.m. And I don't know, 6, oh, 6 o'clock p.m. Let's actually do that. Day view by 15 minutes, I guess, is good enough. Um, make sure you have a day format that matches the format on your computer or else you could run into some very funky issues with the calendar. So, uh, yeah, make sure it's MMDDYY or if you're in Europe and you have the, this format, then obviously you should set it to that, but, uh, you could run into some problems if that, if that's not set correctly. So we're going to just want to. Uh, Kind of important to mention that. So let's go ahead and close. And we're going to do... So we can't really search the employee's schedule because there's nothing in the schedule yet. So we got to make a schedule entry. Let's go ahead and go to employee. Let's pick one of these set employees. And again, all of these drop-down boxes, you notice, were set maintenance lookups. These are all... Uh, values or sets of values that we filled in in that area okay so start time let's say um, uh, overtime in the main office so let's schedule this for Monday uh, it's overtime right so oh five o'clock I'm not going to bother selecting it from the drop down because there's so many. And just make sure you get the right format. Oh, by the way, this can be changed. I should emphasize that. Um, it, this doesn't have to be 12 o'clock, 1201, 1202, 1203. You could set this to any range in any interval you want. Again, in that paid version. Right now, we're just going to stick with what's in here. Uh, work on backup. Right. Something like that. We could do a custom color and that'll help it stand out on the calendar. Let's say this light bluish thing. Okay. So we're going to do save and close. And now we have a, um, now we have a, a schedule entry. So now if we do a run search, you know, we get this, of course you can search by any of these. Now if I search this, by downtown, I don't think I'll get anything. 
Nope, there we go. But uh, this was in the main office, I believe. Yeah, there we go. So you can search by any of these fields. I'll go ahead and close out of this. Uh, calendar view. So we're in the calendar view. We can see it in the monthly view. You can go to any other of these views and see it in the day, week, bi-weekly, anything like that. And of course, we can export this to Outlook. You can import a schedule from Outlook. And that pretty much is, you can do the same thing in here, export, export, run search, export to, oh, export to Excel. Uh, there's not much to export right now, but uh, if you click that, then Excel will open up and you'll see, you'll see the entry that we have over here. And so that covers the employee shift scheduling database. Thank you for watching. We hope this video was all the help you needed for your Access database. If you are struggling to create an Access database that does what you need it to do and just want someone to make that happen for you, that is the business we are in. Our contact information is below the video. You can reach out to us and we will work with you to determine how long it will take and how much it will cost to get your database up and going. If the time and cost are acceptable to you, WSI will get to work and make your database vision a reality. Perhaps Microsoft.net or MS SQL Server would be the better choices for your new database, so it can run on your Windows desktop or anywhere in a web browser. WSI will help you make this determination if you like. Again, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and have a great day.